Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Oil tankers are large vessels designed for the transportation of liquid cargo, primarily crude oil and refined petroleum products across oceans and seas. These ships are essential for the global oil industry, as they enable the efficient movement of oil from oil-producing regions to refineries and end-users worldwide. The two basic types of oil tankers consist of the crude tanker, which is used to transport unrefined crude oil from oil wells to refineries, and the product tanker. Designed to transport refined petroleum products such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and chemicals. They are typically smaller and more specialized than crude oil tankers. Before the loading operation begins, a series of safety checks may include ensuring that the tanker's cargo tanks are clean and in proper condition, and that all equipment, valves, and pipelines are in good working order. Loading arms or hoses are used to transfer the cargo from the shore facility to the tanker. Liquid cargo is pumped from the terminal storage tanks through the hoses and into the tanker's cargo tanks. Once the loading operation is completed, the tanker is unmoored from the terminal and is ready to depart. Navigational operations are crucial for tanker safety. Skilled officers and crew members are responsible for plotting the ship's course, maintaining proper speed, and avoiding hazards such as other vessels. Throughout the journey, the tanker's crew continuously monitors the cargo's condition, including temperature, pressure, and stability, which is maintained through the ballast water. In the case of Mega, with a deadweight tonnage exceeding 320,000 tons, the operation remains the same, only taking care of the routes with narrow passages and ballasting. The construction process of LNG tankers and floating LNG facilities such as the Crowley MT Ohio and Shell's Prelude FLNG is a highly complex and specialized undertaking. Specialized naval architects and engineers create the ship's design, considering the specific requirements for LNG transportation, such as low temperature storage and safety features. The hull of the tanker is constructed in sections, known as blocks. These blocks are prefabricated with the required piping, equipment, and insulation. Each block is typically built on a slipway or in a dry dock. Once the hull is complete, the outfitting process begins, installing the LNG systems. Unlike traditional LNG tankers, FLNG facilities are essentially floating LNG production and processing plants. The hull, typically constructed in a shipyard, is massive and is designed to withstand harsh sea conditions. The Prelude FLNG hull was built in South Korea. The top sides of an FLNG facility include all of the processing equipment, LNG liquefaction units, utilities, and living quarters for the crew, all of them integrated into the hull. The FLNG facility is connected to the underwater infrastructure, including wells and pipelines to extract and process the natural gas. With the facility in position, 
LNG production begins. Natural gas is extracted from the wells, processed and liquefied on board the facility. The idea of transporting natural gas as LNG was proposed as early as the 19th century. However, it wasn't until the mid-20th century that practical methods for liquefying, storing, and transporting LNG were developed. These innovations enhance the feasibility and safety of LNG transportation. Life inside an LNG tanker during a typical voyage involves a well-orchestrated routine. Crew members undergo comprehensive safety training and familiarization before embarking on their journey. The process starts with the precise loading of LNG, a meticulous task that can take hours. Departure from the port is aided by tugboats and local pilots. Particularly in challenging areas. As the vessel sets sail, the navigation bridge becomes the command center, where constant vigilance is maintained. Daily meetings and planning sessions ensure coordination of tasks. Crew members also have time for leisure activities and maintenance work. At the destination, LNG is safely discharged before the journey repeats. Making these voyages an integral part of the global energy supply chain. LNG floating transfer terminals are versatile facilities designed to transfer liquefied natural gas between LNG carriers moored offshore and onshore storage or processing facilities. It comprises a self-propelled barge capable of shuttling to and from LNG vessels moored up to 2,600 feet offshore. This barge serves as the central platform for LNG transfer operations. A hybrid hose handling system facilitates a secure and safe connection with the LNG vessel, ensuring efficient cargo transfer. For the holder transfer system, Trelleborg Cryoline LNG floating hoses are used to transfer LNG and boil-off gas between the barge and any shore facility. Which are known for their high flexibility, reliability and extended service life. LNG ship-to-ship -ship bunkering is a process where liquefied natural gas is transferred from one LNG carrier to another, or from an LNG storage vessel to an LNG-fueled ship. It's commonly used to refuel LNG-powered vessels, such as LNG carriers, cruise ships, ferries, and container ships. The LNG transfer equipment, such as cryogenic hoses and loading arms, is connected between the two vessels. A vapor return system is used to capture any boil-off gas that may occur during the transfer, preventing it from escaping into the atmosphere. Once the desired quantity of LNG is transferred, the hoses and equipment are disconnected, and safety checks are conducted. The Moheshgali floating LNG terminal enables Bangladesh to procure LNG from international gas markets, 
with the capability to regasify up to 500 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. This diversification of gas supply complements the country's domestic natural gas reserves and contributes to energy security. LNG-based container ships represent a relatively recent development in the maritime industry. To meet regulatory requirements and reduce emissions, the maritime industry has been exploring cleaner fuel options. Liquefied natural gas has emerged as a promising alternative due to its lower sulfur content and reduced emissions of nitrogen oxides and greenhouse gases compared to traditional bunker fuels. The construction of a powerful LNG engine like the WinGD X92DF, the world's most potent two-stroke dual fuel engine ever built, is a highly sophisticated process. With a remarkable power output of 63,840 kilowatts, it's equivalent to the power generated by 60 wind turbines. Winter Third Gas and Diesel collaborates with ship owners to design a powerful LNG engine, which meets specific requirements. Precision machining and casting of engine parts originate and are crafted from high quality materials for superior durability and performance. The LNG engine is seamlessly integrated into the vessel's propulsion and power generation system. It's connected to the ship's electrical and mechanical systems, ensuring it operates in harmony with the ship's requirements. Design and engineering efforts led to the creation of the CMA CGM Jacques Serra, the world's largest LNG-powered container ship. Its construction included hull assembly and the installation of advanced LNG technologies, such as the WinGD X92DF dual fuel engines and LNG storage tanks. Stringent quality control, safety checks, and comprehensive sea trials ensured the ship's compliance with emission standards and safe operation. Its refueling process involves carefully transferring liquefied natural gas from an LNG bunkering facility to the ship's LNG storage tanks. During the transfer, the temperature and pressure of the LNG are closely monitored to ensure that they remain within safe and operational limits. Both the bunkering facility and the vessel are equipped with emergency shutdown systems to quickly stop the transfer in case of any safety concerns or abnormal situations. Tankers and floating terminals play pivotal roles in the maritime industry by facilitating the transportation and transfer of oil and liquefied natural gas. As the world shifts towards greener and more sustainable practices, the maritime industry continues to adapt by incorporating cleaner fuels and technologies. reflecting the industry's commitment to both global energy demands and environmental stewardship. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.